The object of the experiment is to determine the concentration of cells in a given sample. A liquid sample containing immobilized cells when placed on the chamber and is covered with cover glass, capillary action completely fills the chamber with the sample. Looking at the chamber through a microscope, the number of cells in it can be determined by counting. Different kinds of cells can be counted separately as long as they are visually distinguishable. Materials required for the experiment 0.4% tripan blue stain, uniform cell suspension, fresh vial, micro pipette, pipette tips, vial rack. Arrange all these materials inside lamina airflow. Procedure Set the micro pipette scale to 10 microliter. Insert a new micro pipette tip to the micro pipette. Take the vial containing uniform cell suspension, open it, mix it two to three times with the micro pipette. Now take 10 microliter of the suspension with the micro pipette and transfer it to a fresh vial. Close the vial and keep the same in the vial rack. Dispose the used pipette tip. Insert a new pipette tip to the micro pipette. Now take vial containing tripan blue dye. Open it and mix two to three times with the micro pipette. Now take 10 microliter of Taipan blue solution and transfer it to the vial containing 10 microliter of cell suspension. With the micro pipette, mix the Taipan blue cell suspension and keep the vials for 5 to 15 minutes. Now the procedure outside the lamina airflow. Materials required for the procedure Hemocytometer plus a supply of cover slip, spirit, tissue paper, micro pipette, pipette tip box glass beaker with water. Procedure Take the box containing hemocytometer, open it. Take the hemocytometer and place it on a white paper. Take a tissue paper. Now take spirit. Apply a small quantity on tissue paper. Now with the tissue paper, wipe the surface of hemocytometer. Take micro pipette. Open the tip box. Insert a new pipette tip to the micro pipette. Steps follow to prevent the slippage of cover slip. Dip the micro pipette in water and take a small quantity of water. Place few drops on the surface of hemocytometer. Take the cover slip and clean it with tissue paper sprayed with spirit. Now place the cover slip on the hemocytometer. Make sure that it does not slide off. Now procedure inside the lamina airflow. Take the hemocytometer and place it inside the lamina airflow. Set the scale of micro pipette to 10 microliter. Insert a new micro pipette tip to the micro pipette. Now take the vial containing tripan blue cell suspension and open it. Mix the suspension with micro pipette. Take 10 microliter of the cell suspension. Now slowly transfer the cell suspension to the hemocytometer by carefully touching the edge of the cover slip with the pipette tip and allowing the chamber to fill by capillary action. Do not overfill or underfill the chambers. Now observe under face contrast microscope at 10x. Now view the cells under a microscope at 100x magnification. Under the microscope, you should see a grid of 9 squares. Focus the microscope on one of the 4 outer squares in the grid. The square should contain 16 smaller squares. Count all the cells in the 4 1mm corner squares. Include cells on top and left touching middle line. Do not count cells touching middle line at bottom and right. If there are too many or too few cells to count, repeat the procedure either by concentrating or diluting the original suspension as appropriate. For an accurate determination, the total number of cells overlying 1 mm square should be between 15 and 50. Live cells appear colorless and bright or refractile under phase contrast, while the dead cells stain blue and are non-refractile. Keep a separate count of viable and non-viable cells. Now the calculations. The percentage of the cell viability can be calculated using the formula total viable cells that is unstained divided by total cells of viable and dead into 100. Viable cells per milliliter is average viable cell count per square into dilution factor into 10 raised to 4. Average viable cells count per square is equal to total number of viable cells in 4 squares divided by 4. Dilution factor is equal to total volume, that is the volume of sample plus the volume of diluting liquid, divided by volume of sample. 
total viable cells per sample is equal to viable cells per milliliter into the original volume of fluid from which the cell sample was removed. Volume of media needed is equal to number of cells needed divided by total number of viable cells into 1000. 